So let's consider the following problem. Here we are asked to calculate the volume between two paraboloids. This is our lower paraboloid and this is our upper paraboloid. Now over here in the picture, I've drawn in the region of interest. Now, how did I draw that? Well, first off I drew this bottom paraboloid. I drew the top paraboloid separately. They put them together and looked for their, I guess their curve of intersection. Their curve of intersection occurs here, and this is just the circle, x squared plus y squared equals one, and it lies in the plane z equals one. So all I did to do that was put one equation into the other and get um, some sort of equation involving x and y. Okay, so how do we calculate the volume? Well, there's an important um, uh, concept to, to recognize here, and that is, both halves, inverted commas, they're not really halves, project onto the following disk in the xy plane. Well, why is that important? Well, the important thing here is that we're going to integrate over this disk. So, both halves of our region lie above the disk which I'm going to call D so this shaded region is D and this is its description okay well if I go back and slightly abuse the notation here by calling this Z1 and Z2, to calculate the area between these surfaces, all we do is take Z1 from Z2 and look at the double integral over the region D. So the required volume is just this following double integral. Now, you'll see that D is, the shaded region D is, uh, it's a disk. So, to make the calculation simpler, what we're going to do is transform into polar coordinates. Polar coordinates, okay? So, the polar coordinates for our region D, remember polar coordinates involve a length and an angle. The angle is just going to be from 0 to 2 pi because it involves one full rotation. And the length is just going to be between 0 and 1. Okay, so. If we take Z1 from Z2, we actually get a nice simplification. We get 4 on 3, 1 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay? Now, to put this all into polars, we replace dA with r d r d theta. We're about to do that in the, in the next line. Okay, so four on three can come out the front. So, change over to polis, dA goes to r dr d theta, and I replace x with r cos theta, and y with r sine theta.
Okay, R, D, R, D theta. Now, what about these limits of integration? Well, they come from here. 0 to 2 pi and 0 to 1. All right, so here we're going to have just R squared. And if we incorporate this multiplication by R, we get the following. I'm going to get R minus R cubed. Okay, so let's do the inside integral first. So we integrate with respect to R. I'm going to get a half R squared minus a quarter R to the power 4. And when we sub in 1 and 0, it'll just leave us with one quarter and then just a simple integration here we end up with two pi on three and I guess we're talking about volume here so we should mention um, square units uh, cubic units cubic units okay so let's dissect what we've done here always always draw a diagram and then um, try to interpret the, uh, the volume as a double integral.